All right, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Let's begin by reviewing the overall structure. To begin with, we create three different timers at different intervals of tenth of a second, one second, and ten seconds. Foreground process basically just pulls the stop button and activates a blinker so you can see that it's alive. You can also vary the loop time of the foreground process loop. Finish by destroying the timers after we break out of that foreground loop. We have three designated VIs that are called the callback VIs, and these are executed each time the timer generates an event. Let's take a look at these. These are all the same, except each one drives its own LED. This one's driving LED zero. And I'm using a little oscillator structure here based on an un uninitialized feedback node. Keeping it uninitialized means that it preserves its state from one call to the next. Every callback VI requires an 8-bit unsigned integer as an ID. I'll show you how to make one of these from scratch. I'll place a numeric control and then change its representation to unsigned integer 8-bit and then connect it up to the upper left corner of the icon connector pane. Let's take a look at where we can find the functions associated with the timers. Look under My Rio, Low Level, Interrupt, and we see Create Timer IRQ, and we also have Destroy the Timer, so that's, that's what we do when we're done with it. There is also an Express VI for creating and initializing the timer. Let's look in a little more detail at creating a timer. Choose a timer ID that ranges from 0 to 7. Specify the interval in microseconds. Here's where you attach the designated callback VI reference. I'll show you how to create one of those. Look under My Rio, Low Level, Interrupt. And this function obtains a reference to your callback VI. Double click it and specify the appropriate VI. So do that for process 0 and process 1. Note that the timer ID must be unique. Again, that's a value between 0 and 7. The configuration for the Express VI is similar. Designate the type of interrupt, in this case, timer interval in microseconds, and here is your callback VI. Let's finish up by looking at how to unregister all of the IRQ sources. I have intentionally selected my IDs to range from 0 to 2 in sequential order so that the loop iterator of that for loop can specify each one.